What's up, my dudes? We're back at it again with another video. Uh, big thanks to you guys for all the love on the last video. That thing's been popping, so uh, appreciate y'all for that one. But we are back at it again. We are going to the dyno again. So uh, today we are going to be on the dyno with Christian's car. And I brought you guys a few videos on this one uh, as far as putting the motor together, putting it in the car, first start and drive. The car's actually been driven about close to 800 miles of break-in, um, 1,000 miles roughly. But the day has come that we get to see what this thing makes for power. Um, for a while, it was on a six pound gate spring. Right now, it's on an eight pound gate spring or what should be eight pounds. It comes up to eight and it slowly creeps to 10. It's probably because there's not much timing in it. But so for those of you guys who don't know, this is a motor that I put together myself. Um, I built the motor and the trans, did all of the custom fabrication, intercooler piping, exhaust. I didn't make the manifold. That's about the only thing I didn't make. Um, built the motor, built the trans, converted it from auto to manual. Also converted it from power steering to manual steering. You can see the MDP drip down there. Um, it looks really nice. The car drives really well. Um, it's on, like I said, it's on eight pounds. We are going to try and make 300 horsepower today on pump gas. Um, it has the stock camshaft. It's got a set of uh, titanium retainers and valve springs. Uh, I don't know, remember what kind. I think they are Brian Crower or just, or Crower. Um, 60 pound seat springs. Um, custom catch can lines. This is a DC5 creation. It's a catch can. It's meant for K-series, but we really didn't have a like, room to put one and i wasn't moving the battery so that is where it ended up and it works great um this engine i built a little differently than carlos's motor so this motor we threw it together and we didn't bore it we didn't resize the cylinders so we had a lot of piston and wall clearance on that one and that's most likely why that piston failed um, it wasn't wasn't my call, but anyways, this one has 35 thousandths clearance piston to wall all the way across. Um, we got a tighter ring gap. Uh, it's 18 thousandths top ring, 20 thousandths second ring, um, and it has almost no blow by. Um, catch can lines are a little bit higher than uh, Carlos's as well, so that it doesn't suck in as much or push as much oil over into the catch can. Um, yesterday I cleaned the catch can lines, cleaned the catch can. There was only some brown water, which would be just moisture in there. Um, and I drained that out. So we are all good. Um, we are in a set of thousand CC snake eater performance budget injectors. So, um, we should be fine on injector. We got a, uh, we got a 355 pump in the tank. It's relayed. Um, and this turbo here is a eBay journal bearing T3 3076 with a 6.3 back housing. So it comes on pretty quick. Um, uh, I was messing with the controller the other day and I turned it up to, I think it was 15 pounds and it made 12 and a half pounds before 4,500. So this thing's going to have a fat um, torque curve. And I'm really excited for that because this thing is, the turbo comes on quick. Um, I don't know if it was labeled as having a T51R mod, but it does, I think, or something close to it. It has an anti-surge housing, which um, whistles pretty good. So, um, three inch intercooler piping from the compressor to the throttle body. We've got a 70 mil throttle body and a pro series intake manifold. Um, stock fuel lines, stock, uh, we got an AM fuel filter, but stock size lines. So, we're not making crazy high power. We're only really shooting for 300. It's gonna be a daily driver. Um, and yeah, so we might do, we might make a little more than 300 just to see what it makes. But as far as leaving it there, I'm gonna tone it down to 300 and we're gonna go from there. Um, I do already have my link knock block hooked up in the car. So when we show up to the dyno, I can just plug that thing in and start tuning. I also did yesterday clean the car out. I vacuumed it out and got all the extra parts out of it. The only real thing that's in it is the wastegate springs in case we need to go up. And um, in a few minutes, I'm going to take this thing out to get the car washed. Um, so, I can, so I can just be a little cleaner, you know. Um, 
The intercooler is behind the uh, front bumper support, so that's still there. So in case there's a you know fender bender or whatever, you've got some protection. So I'm really excited for this one. Um, this one has been a long time in the making. I'm excited for this thing to go home and for Christian to enjoy it. Um, the car does need an alignment, but it's not far off. Um, and it does need a set of tires. Uh, the fronts are fine. The rears are a little bit bald. So, um, yeah. So, but bottom end wise, it's a Viterra long rod setup, Z6 crank. So the reason why we put the Z6 crank in it is the Y8 cranks don't have good oiling. They, um, Honda removed an oiling port in the crankshaft for whatever reason. Um, so the Z6 crankshaft has two oiling ports in the crankshaft, which helps with oiling and helps with um, longevity. So we put that in there knowing that we were going to try to make some power. So we're all good there. Um, we have no leaks. I actually, actually, I do have one distributor leak. I thought I fixed. It did not fix it. So yeah, guys, we're headed to the dyno. Uh, I'm going to go get this thing washed and um, I'll see y'all at the dyno. What's up, dudes? We just got to the dyno. Me and my brother just showed up. <laughs> K24 supercharged. Open header on the dyno. It's where dreams come true out here, okay? <laughs> Waiting for him to get off. I think it just made 401 on 10 pounds, K24 supercharged, making great power. Can't wait to get my CRX done. We're gonna wait for this thing to come off the dyno, and then we're about ready to make some power. Make some motherfucking jam, cuz. Alright guys, we're strapped down, I'm going to put some heat in the car and then we'll do our first pull, 8 to 10 PSI, go from there and see what happens, so let's, let's, get, let's get moving. Alright, so, we're making, we're making pretty good power, this is our first pull. And it has not peaked. I'm thinking about bumping the living her up 400 RPM, see what happens. Um, we made 241 horsepower and 182 foot pounds of torque on 10 pounds. Um, that's actually really good. That's like K24 with cams type power. So that's, that's really good. Uh, I'm gonna bump in two degrees at 10 pounds and um, I'm gonna see what happens if we pick up any. If we don't, I'm just gonna up the boost. I'm gonna keep it safe. And uh, yeah, let's keep it going. Boost up. Oh, what the fuck? We're live. Dino days are the best. Get to see all the work you put in. It's nice. So, I put in two degrees of timing. It did absolutely nothing to the power. Um, so, I took that back out. Great power for eight to 10 pounds. It's, you know, what a stock Z6 probably would have made on the same thing. So, it's flowing well. It's making great power. So, this is perfect. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and t turn the boost controller on. I'm gonna put it at 30%, see what that gives us. And then, um, you know, 
slowly start dialing it in from there. So, let's go. so far this is on a peak of 13 pounds it comes out to 12 holds 13 um, that was with two degrees added from the 266 so I took that back out it's doing nothing I picked up one foot pound of torque we don't need it you know we don't need it so um, cars make a pretty good power um, this 240 was on 10 pounds and then this was um, 11 and a half and then this was 12 and a half and then this is 13 about 13 it's 12 and a half 13 pounds right here so uh i'm just gonna <laughs> bump in some more duty cycle in the controller leave the timing where it's at um i'm gonna show you the graph real quick get some of these things out of here so we can really see what the graph looks like all right so yeah um we made 196 torque and 266 on 12 and a half 13 pounds I'm gonna turn the uh, controller up a little bit more. We're at 40% right now, so I'm gonna go 50%. See what she makes. The fueling looks good. The timing did nothing. Turn on the boost. See what she makes. on 15 and a half pounds almost 16 pounds which is crazy because we made 340 on 20 pounds with carlos's car basically the same build uh so you know it's it's working it's flowing so i'm gonna put another 10 percent in, in the controller see if we can make 18 pounds and it's gonna put us over 300 we're basically there now it's just a time to optimize what we can and see what it can make and then we'll lower it back down so let's go we actually had ignition breakup right at three basically we were going to make probably 315 made 221 foot pounds of torque and then it started to break up uh we were probably at seven i think we were at 17 pounds so i'm going to gap the plugs down there at 25 thousandths i'm going to gap them down to 20 or 18 and then from there we continue to go up with the boost of 20 pounds and we're making 314 234 228 foot pounds of torque um this was boost cut so i'm gonna sprinkle in some timing up here see if it does anything and if it does or doesn't uh, i'm gonna see what maybe 22 24 pounds does and we can go home uh i mean then i'm gonna oh i'm gonna see what quick spool does too i'm actually gonna turn that on now and yeah so let's go Turned quick spool on, uh, it was on to 7 P 17 PSI. That helped bring the um, boost in and up and flat. The boost curve comes straight up to 20 and holds it flat as fuck. And we made 331 and 236 torque. I'm not used to seeing single cams make, you know, a lot, so little torque, but the turbo, I guess, is big. I thought it was small. 
but it's doing really good. I'm gonna actually turn the boost up more, see what we can make, and then I will turn it back down. So if we make 350, like fantastic. So this thing's flowing well. I don't have a whole lot of timing in it. It's all boost and it's working. So let's see what uh, another few pounds of boost holds for us. Uh, I'm really excited. It was 20 pounds, 10 degrees of timing, and it's 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 really really looking really good. This is perfect. Like it's not squiggly. It's it's just it's just it's just working, and I'm really excited. And I'm really happy. I think the reason why we're making so free of power, and Carlos has made just 10 more horsepower. It was also a hotter day for Carlos, but he's using two and a half inch piping, which shouldn't make a huge difference. But I think it actually makes a big difference. Um, this has three inch intercooler piping from the compressor to the throttle body and it's flowing fantastically. So a few more pounds of boost. Let's see what it holds for us. right now and we made 372 um, and then with uh, we made three after I hit turn up the boost cut because it was um, hitting my boost cut at 25 pounds I put the boost cut up one psi and it broke up so I'm um, gonna gap the plugs on the 18 thousandths I'm gonna do one fourth gear pull get our look at what the fucking graph looks like and then we should be good to go home maybe do a two-step check but this is fantastic power, fantastic torque. I'm super excited. This car is just, it's, it's doing what it should, you know? So uh, I'm, I'm happy with it. All right, guys, plugs are gapped down to 18. Well, hopefully it doesn't break up. Um, boost cut is set at 26. Uh, I'm not gonna do a fourth gear pull because I don't wanna stress it. I'm just gonna do third gear pull. And um, yeah, so let's see what this Hail Mary makes. at 25 pounds it's it surprised me I didn't think it was gonna make this much power for being a stock cam and this size turbo it, it, it did really well so that's that's fucking awesome well guys this thing made really good power um, if you guys can hear me 380 to the wheel on 24 25 pounds and quick spool made the world of a difference that thing I was having not issues but boost was coming up and like climbing as I went up in the RPM and quick spool basically just brought it in and held it flat so that's phenomenal like honestly we're only we were only shooting for 300 and we literally made 80 more <laughs> 80 more horsepower 380 on 24 25 and 25 pounds and I think we made 300 on 16 psi which I thought it was going to take more out of this turbo but it really just, it just came on. It just came on like, ah, I'm stoked, I'm happy, I'm excited. And soon we're gonna get in a pool for you guys. Maybe get this guy's reaction and listen to what this thing sounds like because I think it's gonna be fucking nuts. some great power it is the next day 
Um, 380 on 24 pounds, 24, 25 pounds, and 274 torque. Uh, and it's it's revving like it has a cam in it, but it's a stock YA camshaft. Uh, we have the limiter at 77, and it was basically pulling straight to it. So um, the fucking power graph, the torque curve, it was it was just perfect. This turbo, this turbo is actually putting in really good work. Like a 3076 with a 63 exhaust housing. Uh, I guess that's great for like 450, you know? Um, I wasn't expecting it to work as well as it did. Um, basically what I was honestly expecting was we were gonna have to run 20 pounds to make 300 and you know, it was just gonna, it would spool quick, but it would just take a while. I don't know. I just didn't expect it to do as good as it did. Um, but I'm happy with it. And the intake air temps were fairly good. Like we wasn't extremely hot, so like, you know, if it gets 20 degrees cooler outside this thing makes 400 um so i'm excited with that um the car is basically ready to go home i'm going to get an oil change in here so that we can get some fresh oil in the motor um after the dyno day so and i'm i'm up right now i'm about to check the catch can see how much if any oil is in it and um yeah so i'm gonna go get that real quick and then i'm gonna get some street pools in here for you guys with my head cam some better street pulls so you can actually see. So I'm gonna run to the store real quick, get some of the stuff that I need, and then um, we'll go do some street pulls. All right, real quick, I just wanna show you guys what came out of the catch can. If anything comes out of the catch can. Just some water. Moisture from the air, no oil, no blow by. Nothing, nothing crazy, it's fantastic. This is what proper piss in the wall clearance and ring gap does. This is perfect. Just moisture. That's all. Alrighty boys. I got an oil change in the car. And let's go see what some street pulls are like. Uh, I might make a whole separate video for this, but for right now, we're just gonna go see what it's like. And sorry about the sun. I want to see what boost it's on. I made some adjustments to the um, intake air temp boost control duty cycle compensation table. Basically, I took I took it for a spin early when I went to go get oil for the car, and it hit boost cut. So I'm assuming that. Um, I'm assuming that it, um, because of the cooler temps, it wasn't pulling enough duty cycle. Um, so we're going to see why it was doing what it was doing, what boost it's on, and if we need to turn it down, we can always turn it down. So. Let you guys enjoy some of this once we get out on the road. Honestly, I think this car is pretty loud. Uh, honestly, I think it could use a muffler change and it might sound a little better. In my opinion, it might bring down the drone too, but it is what it is. issue was it was really rich because I didn't do any low cam like fuel tune or not fuel tuning but like high boost fuel tuning and it was uh, really rich down there so took some fuel out should be good now listen to this turbo They say this shit's addicting, bro. I knew it at Carlos's car, but bro, like this turbo, I think this has the anti-surge compressor housing. 
and it makes that whistle just like so much more fucking louder like so much louder bro just sounds so good Let's see if we can get a quick little pull in here for you that's it for this video um i'm really happy with the car like i said a million times over this thing fucking rips i mean i know it does have some i don't know what set of tires these are but they're definitely not sticky um but the boost comes in hard it comes in strong quick spool is fantastic uh the two pulls that we did um in the video after i messed with the duty cycle thing were just touching 26 pounds and the boost cuts at 27 so we should be good there um if it does touch um if it does touch the boost cut again maybe down the road i'll just have to adjust some stuff further but it's working um and it's running it's running good it's running hard um and i'm uh i'm just i'm stoked i can't wait to get my car running i mean it's not turboed but that craftwork chick uh craft works kit is going to sound retarded but yeah hopefully um uh christian and my buddy carlos can come down this weekend and they can get a ride in this thing i've got a bunch of work to do i got fucking i gotta clean this car is probably gonna go on the dyno next week um i need to do a few things to it still uh, i am going to put a map switch button on this car so that he can have a high and low boost 
uh, map um, so that, you know, when he wants to run high boost, he can. So, um, but like I said, guys, that's all for this one. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for checking the last few videos. The, the D2B hatch um, video is popping right now. So that's fantastic. I'm really happy with that. I just had a few people hit me up for more work. So might have some K-Series turbo stuff coming in here soon. And um, a few other street tune, dyno tune videos possibly. So like I said, guys, that's all for this one. I'll check you all in the next one. Stay tuned. Deuces.